Oh, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Ooh. Next week is Booktubeathon, which is super exciting. I've been waiting for this for a year since last Booktubeathon, and I'm so pumped. So every year, Ariel Bassett hosts a Booktubeathon, which is a week long readathon. Basically, you read as much as you want, you celebrate reading, you share it with whatever social media community you have, um, participating in challenges, talking about reading, sharing the joy about of reading, all that jazz. Uh, so I'm really excited because I love reading and I'm so excited to be sharing with people who also love reading. And of course, I'll be participating. I'll probably, probably be vlogging next week as well so that, you know, I can share all this book joy with all of you guys and probably hopefully participating in the video challenges uh, like last year. I also have vlog videos for those and basically each year she sets up seven book challenges that you can complete so the goal is to read as much as you like or can. The seven cha the first challenge is let a coin toss aside your first book, first read, so I'm guessing like the first one you read that week. Um, read a book about something you want to do. Read a read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Book with green on the cover and read a book with the same hat the whole time. Yes, yeah, so you're supposed to pick a hat and then wear that hat every time you read that book, which is awesome. Um, love the challenge. And read a book with a beautiful spine. And the last one is read seven books. So. I'm gonna attempt to do this, um, yeah, so comics and stuff are totally allowed and audiobooks and stuff. So as you guys can see, I'm not at home, so this is gonna become quite the challenge. I don't even remember what books are on my TBR at home, which just sucks. I wish I had my bookshelves behind me and I could just like, you know, smell them and decide what the scent is telling me to read, uh, but that's not the case. So I have seven books that I know at home I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna get the first challenge to last because everything's going to make sense. Also, this is a TBR video, like books I'm going to read next week. I kind of forgot to say that. The second challenge, read a book uh, about something you want to do. And for this one, I'm going to read A, a Record of a Space for a Few by Becky Chambers. It's the third book in the way Fairs series, I think, and it was just released today, the day I'm filming this video, on day 4th, and I'm really excited it's coming out, and I just order it, so it'll be home for next week, and I'm going to read it then. It's like 300-ish pages, uh, which should be manageable, and I think I'm going to buy the audiobook and listen to the audiobook while I'm reading, so it's going to go quite quickly anyways. Um, the reason I'm picking that book for that challenge is because it's all about relationship between different species. And it, I know it's not probable, but if something I want to do is interact with other species species from like different planets or, you know, outer space, that would be like the coolest thing ever. And if you think about more like um, in the metaphorical sense, I'd like to interact with different um, cultures and people on Earth. And I think that book really reflects uh, all of our human interactions and species and the problems there onto different species in space. So that's really cool. Next challenge is read and watch the book a movie adaptation. So for this I'm going to be reading Blade Runner. Here is the cover. I actually bought this at a secondhand bookshop recently in London. That's why I'm reading it. I've never seen Blade Runner um, and I always wanted to read something by Philip K. Dick. Um, but I haven't really been interested in any of his books, so, and then I'm going to watch the movie, which is really exciting. I'm going to watch the 1982 version, I think. I think it's like 200-ish pages. Challenge number four is read a book with a green on the cover. For that, I chose Peter Pan. It's a children's book. book. It's easier to read, and it's like 200, a little bit over 200 pages. So, which I should be able to get through, and Peter Pan always has green on the cover. I don't think you can find a Peter Pan book that doesn't have green on its cover. And yeah, I've been wanting to read this for a long time. Better get to it. This is my Puffin Classics edition, which is the one I have. Challenge number five is read a book with the same hat the whole time. And I don't have any hat that I can show you guys now, because it's 
damn hot in London right now. Um, so I'm probably either going to pick one of those, like, my ears that you probably see me wear on one of my videos, and I'll count that as a hat, or something like, um, sun hat, but I'm going to pick The Elegance of the Hedgehog, and this is a book that my mom recommended to me, and it's also, like, a modern classic, I think, and it's originally in French, which is really cool, it's a different language. I'm going to read English, of course, because I'm not that good at French. But yeah, I felt like French hat, sun hat, I'm going to feel so classy while reading this book. So that's happening. Challenge number six is read a book with a beautiful spine. And this is difficult because I don't have any spines in front of me, so I've got to try to remember. And I think, I, I think Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, this is the edition I have, it's really beautiful. And it's like a easy fantasy contemporary-ish book. And I've not read it before. <laughs> Did that mean saying? I don't know. Uh, I think it has a really beautiful spine. It has like this green animal on the bottom. I think so. I was looking all over the internet to try to find a picture of the spine. I can't and I'll update you guys to see if I find a picture. I don't know if it's gonna happen. And the last challenge is read seven books. And for that I am going to pick The Alchemist. So it's just going to complete like the whole thing. It's a short book. I think I can get through it. Also, I had it for a long time. I better read it soon. So that is the sixth book that I've told you guys about so far. And on Monday next week, I'm actually going to travel. So I have to pick between two books to start reading um, on the first day that I have with me here to London, which is the challenging thing. And I bought, bought Blade Runner here, and I also bought... The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, also like a 200-ish page book, which is, I think is good, so I'm reading it. Um, so those two are the ones I have with me, and the thing is, now I have to toss this coin to see if I'm going to be reading Blade Runner, or if The Ocean at the End of the Lane first, and because those are the only two books that I have with me that I can read on Monday on the plane. So, I'll say Heads is Blade Runner because it has hits on the cover. That failed miserably. Let's try that again. How do you do it? You do it. Okay. <laughs> Why is this thing like you never learn? Maybe I'm not street smart like that. <gasps> Look, we'll give it another try. Whatever lands on, even if it's the sheets. Oh! Oh, that hurt! Okay, so it's Heads, which means I'm starting with Blade Runner. Um, I'm going to be reading on Monday, and then I'll re read Ocean at the End of the Lane just as, like, another book that doesn't complete the ch any challenges. I feel like I've skipped a challenge. Oh. Anyhow, I'll probably be reading some comics as well. I have Air uh, Ariel, a poet acrylic collection at home, which I'm probably going to be reading, and then I also have um, Saga and Paper Girls, the volume 8 and volume 4 at home, or the with me actually, that I'm probably going to be reading it as well, so I'll try to sneak those in there. This is a very ambitious TBR because I think some of the books are a little bit long, um, but I'm going to do it. I know I can do it, and I'm going to be very ambitious with my reading. Also, my town has like a a Harry Potter celebration on Tuesday um, for their like 20th anniversary I think it is and we're doing like dress up and stuff at my local bookstore the science fiction bookstore and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna dress up and I'm gonna win the dress up it's going to happen and it's gonna be a Harry Potter quiz and I'm so psyched so that's happening the entire day on Tuesday um, gotta deal with that Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tell me below if you're participating in the Booktubeathon. I highly recommend it and tell me what books you're reading if you're participating. Oh, I'm so sorry for this mess of a video, but that's how it is. Enjoy your reading and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!